Hi, I hope you're doing awesome. So the question we are seeing today is level order zigzag traversal in a generic tree. So in the previous questions, we have seen the level order traversal, then level order line wise traversal. This time we are seeing level order zigzag traversal. Now, uh, how, how exactly I'm expecting the output to be is uh, if I'm traversing first level left to right, the next level should be traversed in opposite manner. That is 40, 30, 20, right? So the output should be 10 after that 40, 30 20 after that as this level is traversed from right to left we need to traverse this level from left to right right so 50 60 and 70 and in the reverse order now 90 and 80. in order to achieve this output the data structure we'll be using unlike in the previous question is stacks so we'll be using two stacks and why we are why exactly are we using stacks is because stacks have capability to reverse the output uh, in see if the input the order was actually one two three the output the fashion of the output i will be getting will be three then two then one because stacks actually work on leaf right the uh, the one that came uh, last is actually to be removed first right so third which actually came last is to be removed first and what happens due to this is that the uh, the output is actually reversed and uh, it is sort of capability i'll be needing because i'll i'll have to reverse the uh, the, the fashion of traversal right let me tell you how exactly i'm planning to do that so okay, let me just uh, rub this okay so i'll be using two stacks first one is named main stack okay my bad just a second please the first one is called main stack and the second one will be called child stack right this one is called main stack okay this one is called child stack so the first okay so also i need to write just a second procedure and also output right i need to write output so output so the procedure is firstly i'll be inserting my root node into the main stack as we did in the last question also so 10 gates inserted now we start the loop and uh, till when the loop runs is until my main stack becomes empty so the first procedure is remove from main stack so 10 gets removed let me write it here remove from main stack so 10 gets removed uh, okay after that after removing i actually need to print the removed uh, node the data of the uh, removed node so the second step becomes printing third is adding the children in the same fashion as i have traversed so if i have traversed from left to right i will be adding children to the child stack in the same fashion Okay, so as you might, must have guessed, if the children are added in the same fashion, that is 20, 30 and 40, the first one now to be removed is 40 and after that 30 and after that 20. And um, in this in this uh, manner, I have got my reversed output, right? Because after that 40 will be first to be printed, right? After that 30, after that 20. So let me show you, let me show you actually. Okay, so before adding, yeah, so 10 have three children, 20, 30, and 40. So let's add them 20, 30, and 40. And also write the third step of the procedure, add children in same fashion, same fashion. And how we'll be keeping the count of the fashion? We'll, uh, we'll declare a variable named level. We'll initialize it to one. And whenever my main stack becomes empty, let, let me show you how. So after 10 is uh, removed, now my main stack is empty. When my main stack is empty, I now act actually interchange main stack and child stack. So this one becomes miss, this one becomes CS. Now, uh, the first one to be removed is 40. So 40 gets removed. Uh, okay, 40 gets removed, 40 gets printed. And children of 40, that is 70, get added to the um, child stack. But uh, you'll see that in this case, okay, now 30 is to be removed. 30 is removed, 30 is printed. Now, in order to add the children of 30, we are traversing in this direction. So I won't be adding 50 and 60, I'll be adding actually 60 first and then 50. 
So the main thing is add the children in the same manner in which we are traversing at the uh, level, right? If I'm at the upper level, I'm traversing from right to left, I'll be adding the children in right to left because when I reach to this level, it will be the, the uh, procedure in which children get out will be left to right due to the property of the stack, which actually reverses the output, right? And also, whenever my main stack becomes empty, I print the next line and I increase the level because um, level actually changes the direction of traversal as well as adding the children. Let me show you in the code, right? Okay. So I declare two stacks, stack of type node. This is called main stack is equals to new. Stack. Also, I'll be adding one more stack called the child stack. CS. Let's initialize a variable called level, which will actually be changing as the main stack becomes empty. So let's keep it a one for now. Also, the first step, the uh, the first step is ms dot push the root node, which is by the name node. After this, while ms while not ms dot is empty, right? Until the main stack becomes empty, what do we do is okay. So we remove the node first. Node tem is equals to ms dot pop. We print the node system dot out dot print in. What is the okay? So temp dot data. Okay. Also, we'll check that if level percentage to oh sorry modulus to actually it's modulus and I have a habit of saying percentage to it. Modulus two is equal equal to zero or maybe not equal to zero. Then we actually fill in the same same uh, sort of manner in which we were traversing that is we move a straight loop for and i is equals to zero i is less than temp dot children dot size i plus plus ms dot push child oh sorry uh temp dot children dot get i right and else we fill in the uh, reverse fashion so i is equals to temp dot children dot i is minus one of course i is greater than equal to zero and i plus plus now it should be i minus minus and yes and we'll be pushing in child stack instead of main stack right so it should be cs right if by any chance my main stack becomes empty if ms dot is empty what do i do is firstly i make ms to cs cs becomes new stack and level gets incremented and we move to the next line so i hope this will be running except for a few few typos i have made Okay, so it's yeah, it should it should not be print ln, it should be print, right? Because the node of one level is to be printed in the same line. Let's try to run it now. Okay, it's getting accepted. Let's try to submit it. I hope you liked the video and you understood it well. And if you did, kindly press that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.